Yo, welcome back guys and today we've got an RX 6600M. Yes, it's the laptop version, 8 gigs. Gonna do some quick tests, um, temp checks, performance tests, some light stuff. Um, not too deep into it because there's a lot of videos already out there. I just want to see this version of it. Um, but before we do that, let's have a closer look at this card and see what we've got. So here's the card, twin fan in this beautiful white casing it's not metal it's plastic but yeah it looks beautiful um this is what it looks like here this is what it looks like here got one eight pin on the side and the usual three display ports and one hdmi and i think this is new but it does have um, a bit of kind of indentation in it but i think that's because they test these cards and that's all it's for really and I, I think this is a new card because I don't think they mind on the 6600M GPUs um, because the PC the slot actually does look new as well there's no scratches or anything like that this is what the back plate looks like the usual four screws and then another two here and on the side it says AMD Radeon 6600M 8GB version and yeah it's a nice looking card nothing special um, yeah, and that's the close-up look. What I'm going to do now is do a quick um, bench tests and a few game tests. Nothing too heavy, some light ones, because there's already videos out there that have done those tests already. I just want to see how well this one performs or how badly it performs. And that's it really. And yeah, I want to keep it short. Right, so we've got the GPU in the machine paired with the 7500F DDR5 um, 32 gigs at 5600. Um, so it's an AM5 build, but yeah, let's look at the details. It's going to be a really quick one. Um, bad thing about this GPU is you can't um, adjust the fan curve. The good thing about this is SAM is enabled, but you can't um, adjust anything else. You can't overclock it, underclock it, undervolt it, any of that stuff. You don't have access to it. There might be a hack, but I haven't um, delved into it at the moment. I'm just looking at it as it is. Um, just plugged it in, done the driver, and that's it. Seems like it's a 100 watts card. And another good thing about this is it doesn't max out at 100%. I've seen some reviews where people said that um, it's locked out at 100% the fan speed, but this isn't the case for this GPU. Um, the temperatures, um, once the temperature rises, the fan does um, dial up a little bit. So at the moment, it's defaulted to 30%. And here's some other information, the sensors, etc., that we can see um, from the card. So what I'll do now is just run a Fermark bench test. So the Fermark bench test is running, and as you can see, it's maxed out at 100%. Um, the fan does kick in a little bit here. Now you can see as the temperature rises, before it's 30%, now it's at 41%. The temperature is increasing, but it doesn't go any higher than 57, uh, 50, 59 degrees, but obviously I haven't tested it in depth at the moment. So it'd probably be like mid 60s if on a long gaming session. Um, and I can hear the fans now and it's gone up to 61%, which is decent and it's not too loud. Here's what it sounds like. Obviously I've got the case open. Um, if it was closed, then the temperatures would probably be higher and it'll be a lot more quieter. But at the moment, the FPS is looking pretty decent, average at 127. And here is the result. We've got 7,617. And we'll compare it with uh, another load of results. So this isn't great. As I was looking at the results, it just um, crashed. Um, so I am not sure because I can't undervolt it, I can't un underclock or anything like that. So this is not a good sign. Um, I don't know. So it still, still seems like it's running, but the driver just crashed. So I think this is going to be a headache with this GPU. Right, so I'm back in again and, um, just to compare results of other cards, I did find just a 5700 um, and this got 6,947 so it's performing better than this card. There isn't any 6600 that I can compare it with or 5700 XT. There is a 6600 XT and that got like 11,000. I think this might one might be overclocked. 
So a bit of a change up in the video, um, but before we go into it, yeah, I found my old t-shirt, so I thought I'd wear it. Um, but anyway, yeah, initially I wanted to do the unboxing on the 6600M and run some temp checks and also some like light benchmarks on some games. But obviously I'm having these hardware, um, not hardware, but driver issues where it just crashes, uninstalls the driver, and then have to do like DDU, uninstall the um, old drivers, all the like leftover bits, and then um, reinstall the 6600M driver. Um, so the issue itself, um, I've done a lot of research, and um, pe what people do is basically flash a 6600 BIOS onto the 6600M, but obviously there's a risk of um, bricking it, so I thought I'll park that for now. I'll probably do that in the future, but um, the solution that I found was um, use a AM4 build. So I've got a AM4 build um, that I'm selling, so I thought I'll use that and test it on that, purely because someone mentioned that um, Expo on AM5 builds, so I'm using my uh, main build, it's quite it's an AM5 build and I have Expo enabled. Um, I don't want to change the settings because obviously it's my main build and I don't want to start tweaking stuff and then messes up with my RX 6800 that I have on it and all the other stuff that I've done. I've um, undervolted it and overclocked it and things like that and I don't want to just mess around with it because it's like a new build and I don't want to mess around with it and it just messes up the whole system. So what I've done is um, I found that that article where people saying Expo might be the issue, so um, I thought I'll test it on one of my spare rigs. So I put it on an AM4 build, which has a Ryzen 4500 um, B450 board, um, and I tested it, and actually it was working. So um, I've done some stress testing, firm up bench tests, some games, etc. Um, but because I didn't have enough games on it, because um, I'm selling it, um, there's no games installed, I couldn't do any benchmarks, just done some testing behind the scenes and there wasn't any crashes. So it kind of tells me that the issue is actually with the Expo or some other settings on the AM5. Um, so it's a bit of a... Uh, downer because obviously I wanted to test it on AM5 and see the true potential of it because obviously the 4500 is not the best CPU and it probably like bottlenecks it a little bit but it is what it is and um, yeah it is working so that's a good thing um, so in future I might do another build for that 6600M and do like proper tests on it I'm not going to sell it because I want to keep it and tinker with it do a uh, 6600 flash on it and see if it um, gets any more performance out of it. Um, I know you can get control for the overclocking, fans, undervolting, all of that stuff when you do the BIOS flash. So that's the situation at the moment. So yeah, there you have it guys. A quick 6600M video. Um, it was a bit of a challenge, but yeah, we know it's working. And it's not the GPU itself, it's the driver, it's a bit finicky. Um, and compatibility issues with the AM5. So hopefully I can do more videos on it once I've got more games installed on my AM4 build. And yeah, we'll just see performance and compare it to a C600 um, non-mobile version, proper desktop, desktop version, and see what kind of like, performance we get. But people already know the kind of uh, performance we get out of it because there's a lot of um, builds already out there with the 6600M and it's a very good efficient card, only draws 100 watts. So yeah, that's where we are at the moment. Um, so yeah, I look forward to making more videos on the 6600M. Um, but as it is, we'll end it there. And yeah, if you have any questions, write them down below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.